excuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat. I wish ghosts were real and we could just talk to them. hurt. Cop was, like, covered. Lord, nothing happens here. So nice to be away from the big city with all its problems. Would a new police chief do better?
places should be okay. Thrown out a window. That would be so awful. What does it feel like to die? Thought I saw... No. No, couldn't have been. didn't have those hats. In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Real witches didn't have those hats. Fun. It, was, it was an accident. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I, I, I can't even remember doing it. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I... I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God! I killed them! I'll never forgive myself for doing this! You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and... See if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Hmm. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. Station's not far from here. I should check it out. I should go home now.
I didn't know you were such a lightweight. If I ever met the killer in the street, I don't know what I'd do. Maybe if we walk a little faster. Okay. Great. Paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So, Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. aren't safe? Who is safe? So weird. Somebody was alive, and now they're not. What's it feel like to die? In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. Uh, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God. I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura. Behind you. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you.
strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War Room. I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. Very interested to know that myself. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronin to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints? Fibers or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. that info about the missing tenants.
think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Killer scares the crap out of me. Could a whole SWAT team take this guy? Wait till we nail this monster. Gotta be able to bring him down. Somehow. I can't tell you anything, son. I'm not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Do cops get killed? A lot? No, I wouldn't say it happens a lot. I've been on the force nearly 20 years, and I'm still alive. Shakes you up when it does happen, though. Maybe more, because it doesn't happen often. Not that we want it to happen more often. I want to get out in the field someday, of course. This has just been a rough day. Listen, young man. We're all gonna have rough days. Good thing is, we're mostly gonna survive them. Is it even safe in the police station? I just hope I live long enough to be an old cop. I'm glad I'm not in homicide. Sometimes a desk job looks good. Still Ronan. Wow. Sleepy town like this, nothing to worry about. Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Gotta do our work. Keep emotion out of it. Cops, gotta stick together. Gotta have faith in the department. This job gets to you. Any one of us could go bad. Not that Ronan deserved it. Ronan didn't really get that guy. Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. Think she knows anything? I will find out. Robinson seems like a gentleman, but he's got his methods of persuasion. Yeah, he's a smooth one. My money's on him. Better stick with what I know. Man, interrogation is harder than it looks. I don't know how she could be related to this. Wonder if that girl knows something.
in for it's too complicated to get into let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life that's my choice so I made it either way no it doesn't matter now does it if it didn't you wouldn't still be here maybe I can help Nah, I appreciate it but you know it looks like you got your own shit to deal with I'll figure it out on my own Always have. Thanks, though. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. Gotta get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? Shut up, man. It's bad enough we're in jail without all your crazy talk. What? You too? There's another one. T -t 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 Tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. Someone get this guy to the loony bin already. The ghost is right there. Can they really not see this? All finery and authority do not make purity. Wrong cell. Viewers should have padded walls. Why do I get stuck with the crazy guy? What happened? What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Wow. His entire arm looks like a confession of... Of, well... A confession of... Huh, a lot of stuff. We respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that.
But the tattoos might tell us something. Why is the old guy so harsh? But the tattoos might tell us something. A little respect would be nice. Med school doesn't teach you everything. century. People find destruction. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. We need to hurry. Crap. Yeah, hurry. Don't stop. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Duh. Uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or think anything creepy. Oh, if this doesn't make us even... Okay, man. Get out. I got this.
Speed up, girl. Damn machine. Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, he was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and 
got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. And docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush. I'm sure that book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections, except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. Check that voicemail message. Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good.
inside that opens inward. I better tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God. That means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on. We should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! This is clear. Rex. Who's that? The cop you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cool sweeping the building. What, is she related to Udini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah. I'll check after we catch it. Hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, Rowan, he was, uh, he was top notch. You know, boys be acting down. I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, there's no reason to tramp on his grave. He wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better, or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the so, wrong side of the prison. So, no, no, it's, not it's, not everyone. It's okay. Like Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I'm here to tell you that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. I mean, you have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. I'm sorry, sir. It's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about life? What is this place? Bell Killer War Room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. <laughs> 